actually I wanted to ask Kenny, how do you pronounce his name? Freya. Freya, okay. I hope you guys can hear him over the car right now. I'm not sure what it's gonna sound like. Uh, we got the windows open. Uh, what's this cold stuff that's actually coming out of your vents? <laughs> that was AC. <laughs> oh, that's what AC is? <laughs> oh, I, I don't know about this. Uh, well, anyway, so today's gonna actually be a pretty cool video. We're on our way to Top Secret. You guys probably know Top Secret. That's where I bring my car to get dyno tuned by Yo Solo. What we're gonna be doing is putting the Supra on the dyno and we actually wanna see how much power it's actually making. Uh, we know it was advertised to make 440, right? Uh, 450, 450, 450, right? So it was advertised that they said it was making about 450. Uh, this was in Utah. So we're here in Jersey. Uh, the, the elevation is different here. So I'm curious. And the gas. And the, and the fuel, right? So what do you have in it right now? 93. Okay, so there's 93 in it right now. The roads are a little bumpy, so the camera's gonna be like shaking a little bit. So there's 93 in it right now. They're claiming 450 with elevation. I, I'm i not sure what it's gonna make, so I feel like we should, let's make some predictions right now. What do you think, Kenny, it's gonna Maybe, make? You're the uh, super guy. I don't know, when we talked to them, they were saying around 400. I'm thinking maybe like 410 to 420. Okay, so you and me are actually on the same ballpark because I was thinking- It would be it, nice if it was actually over the 450. That I, would be really nice, I, but I, realistically, I, I don't think so. Yeah, I, I think it's gonna be a low 400 number, uh, especially to the wheels. Like, did they say it was 450 to the wheels? Yes. Okay, so, but it is, that. I don't know if that was, the actual tune or if it was the conservative tune because right now they said it's on a conservative tune okay they never clarified if the 450 was on the conservative tune or if it was on a different tune but how can you tune it on this ecu though i have no idea yeah because that's I'm not, another thing i want to know yeah I'm, I'm not too familiar with like uh toyota obviously this is really kenny kenny knows a lot about supras and uh and the toyota brand i'm more behind the guys you guys know so i'm i know this is on a jdm ecu it might be a dumb question, but I, I don't know how they would do it. Uh, maybe they like, um, I know like in the old school ways, they used to uh, flash it. So they'd like flash something on a chip it. and then they put the chip in the ECU. So maybe it's gonna do that, but I, I'm predicting low 400s as well. And uh, I guess we're gonna figure out what it does. Honestly, we should be there in like a half hour. Uh, we'll catch up with Paul, see what's going on with him. And uh, it should be an interesting video so we can Science. We're gonna do science. Yeah, elevation and the fuel change is gonna maybe the fuel will help it. Yeah. I don't know. So I know you guys just want to see the dyno, so I'll turn this back on when we get to the dyno.
fourth gear pull, 382 with a boost cut. Uh, this time was a third gear pull. It made 350. What is that? 352? Kenny, that's 350? Yeah. So 358 on a third gear pull. So we're trying to see if it's a gear ratio thing. We can alleviate the boost cut, but um, because it's stock JDM ECU, I don't know how we're going to avoid that. Um, we're going to see if we can figure that out. So I was just crawling under the dash. It's really hot over here. We're trying to figure out what ECU is in this. It looks like it's not a JDM ECU. It's a USDM ECU. And they're going to do a pull right now, so hang on. So like I was saying, um, US ECU, we have someone on the phone right now who like really knows these, J these uh, two JZs. He's saying that ECU looks like it was unopened to US. Uh, what we're trying to figure out if it's a boost cut, a uh, fuel cut, or now we're leaning towards a speed cut. And uh, we're just wanting, I mean like, we're not tuning it. We want to see what the cut is at this point. So um, because the boost gauge is in uh, KPAs or like bar, um, we had to like do conversion and there is a boost cut on this from the people who were the garage that built this Supra 48080 uh, apparently there's a, a 16 pound boost cut from if our conversion is right from what we just saw 1.1 1 .1, like 1 1.2 it's boosting at 18 pounds which is obviously going to be passing the boost cut it might be what we're running into we're going to keep looking into it but it doesn't look like we're going to get a full pass today you know, I mean, the only way we will get a full pass is if we do something with the ECU. And I know Kenny will talk about this later on, about his plans with this car. But, uh, yeah, we might not get a full pass in this car today. All right, so we just got an update. We just found um, on one of the wastegates, it, it has like a the front the front wastegate. I don't think the back one's using the wastegate because it's set up like parallel instead of right. sequential. So when I remember when I was doing that on the other car, when you're using the parallel system, it uh, it removes the wastegate on the back servo. You don't use the wastegate on the back okay. servo. Well, well, basically what we just found is it's just feeding the atmosphere, so it's giving it more boost. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cap that right now, control it, and see if we see can make a goes. see if we'll make a full pass. Really, yeah, like, yeah, that's the whole goal. Because you're not trying to tune it, you just want to make a pass. Yeah. So. Good, so that guy down there, you can see the waste gate there, right there. We'll just put a cap on that and let's see what happens now.
so as you guys saw we made a full pass but it made like no boost it didn't even touch one bar oh it did Like length? Yeah. No, nah, that was longer. This is longer? Yeah, that was longer. I don't know where the other yeah. one went. Where did I throw it? Yeah, look. Ah, right here. Boom. Boom. Fix problem. So this is why I mess with Paul, man. Paul knows his shit. Top secret, baby. This one is the same as boost controller. Are you ready? Yeah, that's, that'd be great. Yeah. Yeah. This is why I mess with Paul. Paul's the guy who knows all this stuff. Okay. Can you send us a big turbo? <laughs> 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 so, uh, you can make like maybe four, four twenty to the wheels, and then uh, you can like lock the wastegate shut. Uh, you know, like shim it. And I've made with cans. We made like five sixty on those turbos. Pump gas. You can make some. No, not pump. We put race gas and they run about 23, 24 pounds. So, uh, but I don't know if you want to go that route. I mean, dude, you can put a small single on the car and make, you know, <laughs> that same power every day on pump gas. Yeah, I mean, I want to keep it as it is. I like how it is. Yeah. But, I mean, yeah, just the, just the boost guys is killing All we're doing, we just want to know what it makes. It's, that's all we're doing. Yeah. Okay. It triggers the computer. Like things is still at low boost, but it's not. But that's how we used to do it. We used to make a nipple and it has your cutter. Okay. You know, that's how you control the boost. So that's what you just did right there, right? Mm -hmm. You just made a longer... The longer, like okay. you could keep 16 pounds of boost, but before it, like it hits, before the computer notices, you know, you can still make your 16 pound of boost pull. Right, right. Okay. Then if, if it gets lower, you gotta keep trimming it until we get to whatever boost we want. That's just old school. But I knew right away because the weight falls on the face. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. So it gives me some time. I don't know why the camera does this. I, I gotta get a new one. So anyway, we're leaving with the car making 480, uh, 386. Okay, 386. 99 miles per hour. But that was with boost cut. With boost cut. Yes. All right. So we did some more stuff off camera. Basically, we tried a longer, uh, uh, longer vacuum hose. As you guys kind of heard, Paul was explaining how this all works to try to control the boost and the shorter you cut the the hose the more you can control the boost uh we tried that and it actually it actually took like a lot of boost out of it it made maybe 10 pounds and maybe it was maybe less and it made like 318 horsepower so what we did 
is we we took the hose off. You should reach your destination by 7:47 p.m. <laughs> so we, we took the hose off and what that did was it just it it over it's still over boost right yeah but we took that hose off a, i don't think it's he, i think he said it didn't you know, make a difference honestly okay it's so still over boost the same amount yeah so regardless the car is over boost and um the guy that kenny was on the phone with was actually the people they at 2jz motors or the shop that um like i said they, they built this car for for 8080 and he was explain it to us some of the stuff they did and uh so the end result was like i said we made two 386 over boost in it they're gonna send kenny uh it's not a it's not a boost controller it's like a module to trick the ecu from not over boosting right yeah okay so that's what it's gonna do it's gonna trick the ecu to not over boost and possibly send him a uh like uh, another module to to get rid of the speed limiter, I think. Yes. Yes. Okay. So, so there's not going to be a speed limiter on this. So right now, is at 120, which we can't even hit anyways. Yeah. Well, we only hit 101. Well, no, it, it hit 118. You no. saw 101 at peak power. Oh, okay. It at hit. It hit 118 at the end. Gotcha. gotcha. So, regardless, we didn't hit the 120. Otherwise, it would have been another cut. Right. So we're gonna see if we can get rid of the 120 speed cut, we're gonna get rid of the boost cut, and then we're gonna come back, and this camera's really annoying me because it's like so laggy when it's really low light. Probably there's a setting I could fix, but I'm not a camera guy. Um, anyway, we're gonna go home. So this is gonna be a part one. Whenever the, we get those models in, we're gonna put them in. Wire it up. Where we're gonna wire it up. We'll show you guys how to wire it up in case anybody's interested. Um, learn some stuff about turbos because I'm, you know, like I'll tell you guys, I'm not a turbo guy. I know a lot about all motor. I'm not a turbo guy and uh, I was learning some stuff on how to manage boost, what to look for when you have boost cuts like this. So it's on factory boost, uh, factory turbos too. Yeah. That's a factory wastegate really. Right, but I mean, also, if you're running a wastegate in general, I feel like those these tips can, well, usually, they really work. If you're running aftermarket, you always have a boost control. That's so it's, it's different. That's true, yeah. So I guess if you are, like, playing with stock turbos on a stock car, it doesn't have to be a Supra, some tricks that you can try out. So we're going to get home, and uh, we'll pick this up in a part two once we get all these modules in, and we'll see. I think it looks like it has it, like I told Kenny. It looks like it has the four, maybe a 420, um in it and uh, we didn't sweep rpms because like i told you he didn't put the rpm on there to right. get a tag signal so we couldn't see what rpms at least on the graph right, right. Uh, i'm sure paul was watching the rpms but uh big shout out to top secret in new york in new york in newark <laughs> if you guys are looking for a tune uh or just want to put your car on a dyno top secret you know they'll let you we'll do a couple rides and he's also doesn't even charge you extra if you run into problems like this Great. i gave him 160 anyways i felt bad because he did he oh well he didn't even ask for it is what i'm getting at so like paul's a great guy i recommend him tell him sergio sent you with the rsx and uh yeah so we're gonna head out of here we're gonna get home i'll catch you guys in the next video stay motivated and keep making those streets louder